Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about scale in Roblox Studio. Okay, so we've got our example frame from last episode. Now, if I drag this bottom right of the screen, you'll see we can snap it bottom right like so. However, if we were to then emulate this on another device, so let's say the iPhone 7, we'll see the actual borders being a bit cut off. Let me try and show you this on maybe um, different devices. You'll see, actually, if we scroll down, you'll see it's not at the bottom corner. It's a bit offset, and depending on the devices, the worse it will look. If we maybe have iPod Touch, you'll see it takes up like half of the screen. If we've got uh, Xbox One, we'll see it, it's nowhere near the bottom right corner. So let's figure out how we can fix this and scale things properly. Okay, well, what's actually happening here? Well, essentially what's happening is under our size, rather than having a scale on our size, we've got an offset. Now, when we, whenever we size something, normally we want to size it with scale because the scale will, essentially, when you change the screen size, the object will keep the exact same size with scale. It scales the size to the exact same. Whereas with offset, the size will always be the exact same no matter the screen size. So, if it's, you know, really big and you've and this it will stay the size of offset and you've you know you're playing a, f a screen which is smaller than this uh, the size of the frame then the frame will cover the whole screen whereas with scale it will scale the uh, frame down to the size of the screen so let's make sure that we always and same with position as well we want to have our posi we always want to have position and uh, size on scale so let's maybe make this 0 0.300, 0 0.30, we'll see. Okay, we're going to make that a little bit bigger. And now as you'll see, now that we've set the, scale, the offsets to 0 and only the scale is positive, it will always change the scale now rather than the offset. Which is now we can resize it however we want. So maybe let's do that. And now if we put it bottom right, you'll see if we emulate this on another device let's go all the way to the side we'll see it's still in the corner let's go for the iPhone 7 plus you'll see it's still in, it's on the corner if we go for the average laptop we'll see it's still on the corner and yeah it's really good for uh, stuff like that so that is essentially scaling in a nutshell so everyone I hope you did find this video helpful and I will see you in the next one where we will be talking about text labels. So I'll see you then, everyone, and goodbye.